Eight days and nearly six and a half hours after the start, Reto Schock crosses the finish line. He rode 3,000 miles across 12 states on just seven hours of sleep, but the new champion is still going strong. I, I never had a problem and I was, my mind always kept up and I have known how much I've eaten, what I have to eat or, and I was some kind of surprised that it really went that well. Race Across America, dubbed the world's toughest bicycle race, is the pinnacle of ultra cycling. It's the world's longest running endurance event and attracts athletes from everywhere, most of whom are amateurs. Like the 45 other racers here, Dick raised nearly 25,000 euros to participate, a steep price for a race with no cash prize. For a few of the racers, it's about winning. Um, I would say for 90% of the field, it's about the self-actualization, pushing yourself to your limit. Dick trained three years for the competition. He spent most of that time in Spain, where he cycled for countless hours to acclimate to the heat. But after 28 hours with zero sleep, Dick is dehydrated and cramping up. He's taken to the hospital and forced to pull out. But the Belgian isn't calling it quits. I hope to be back next year. So I did the route to see what's, what it's like. The last racer this year crossed the finish line four days after the winner. Still, a noteworthy performance in a race that a third of the cyclists never complete.